Oh, so, so right now, as I said, so we have 30 cars, uh, roughly 30 cars today. Uh, we're going to be adding that weekly. So you know, every week you come back, you'll see more cars. So, so yeah, so we do own uh, the, major the vast majority of our cars. Um, so uh, the vehicles that you see, so we have uh, some of our partners, in fact, we're here today. Uh, so we, we partner very closely with, uh, with Honda, with Ford, with Mahindra, um, and also with Mercedes, uh, which will be upcoming into the fleet. Uh, and we'll have a, a nice induction of luxury cars coming very soon. Um, so yeah, we, we have actually, it's designed, the, the setup that we have, we really we want to think holistically about our entire customer base because we don't just serve, let's say, like a 22-year-old guy, of course. We serve everyone. And so we have uh, compacts, so we have sedans, we have SUVs, we have MUVs, we have luxury cars, uh, and so you know, everything in the middle. So if, if you look, we have across our whole lineup across India, we have 15 different makes. Uh, so you know, we're, we're starting off with a smaller number, of course, in Hyderabad, but as we grow, we'll add, as we add cars, we'll add the different sort of segments, and so you'll have a full... Uh, you know, real robust inventory, uh, so you can always have the right car for the right time. Well, so I mean, it certainly won't happen tomorrow, of course. Um, so we're going to do it, uh, you know, gradually over, over the next uh, several months. And so, uh, you know, we, we expect to do a very quick ramp. So, uh, as I said, you you won't see us with 30 cars for very long. We'll uh, be expanding very quickly. Um, you know, certainly uh, we want to have a thousand cars uh, within the next year. Uh, that that's certainly uh, one of our primary goals. Um, so seeing what we've seen in our other markets and, and knowing the demand base and the population segments here, uh, we, we definitely believe it's very achievable. Uh, and it, it's something where Hyderabad, given the population of the city, I mean, we're, we're going to be pushing 10 million people very soon. Uh, it, it's something where if you look out, even globally, as a, as a competitor, uh, really thinking about cities in, in the U.S., cities in Europe, and cities in, in China, which have a similar such service, uh, the same sort of population, same sort of density as Hyderabad, these cities actually have 4,000, 5,000 cars in this type of model. Um, so to think that you'd have 1,000 cars is actually very conservative. Um, so you know, we definitely would expect that number then subsequently to, to grow. I mean, we're not going to be here for a year and then leave. Uh, we'll obviously stay here for the long term. So um, you know, we certainly envision that number growing over the next two or three years, even more. <laughs> so I mean, I'm not really at liberty to say in terms of money, um, but it, it's, it's really something where, uh, you know, as, you, as you probably are aware, when, when you finance cars, uh, which we do, uh, it actually doesn't require very much money at all. So we, we do have some great partners on the, on the lending side. Uh, so we work very closely with uh, certain, uh, certain lenders to help us uh, in those ways, in those means. And so it, it's something we've had those partners from the beginning. And uh, certainly without them, we, we couldn't really be where we are today. Uh, and as you might appreciate, it's not not exactly economic if you had to buy every car 100% outright in cash. Um, so that's uh, that's not our model. Yeah. So you know, as, as you can appreciate, uh, as you rightly point out, in peak times uh, there are some very rare occasions where um, you, you do have to cancel a booking, unfortunately. And, and so this is not unique to Zoom. It's something that you know the, the cab industry faces it. Um, the, the rental industry in, in India and in, in China and the U.S. Europe faces it as well. Um, so so we, we do take great precaution and great care to try to ensure that that happens as infrequently as possible. Uh, and so I can, I can assure you that that does happen very, very infrequently. Um, but so, so basically when that, when that does happen, uh, w which is rare, uh, so what we do is we, uh, of course, will refund 100% of the money to the customer, goes without saying. Uh, and, and so then we also award driving credits uh, for uh, future bookings. And, and so in, in some instances as well, depending on uh, certain facts and circumstances, we can also, um, you know, help accommodate uh, some of their uh, lost trip expense. So, for instance, like a hotel hotel bill that they otherwise couldn't get to. So we also take a lot of great care to see if we can accommodate. So what we do is we look out for other options, other partners that may have vehicles uh, to help backstop them, uh, to get them on their way. Uh, so we work with them on that. We also, in, in many instances, help them uh, if they need help securing a, a rail ticket or a bus ticket or something. Um, so we also do that as well. Um, so, you know, but it's, it's totally untrue that we, we keep money uh, and don't return that. that. I mean, that's ridiculous. So 100% um, of the time, we, we refund, refund the money. Um, so, you know, it's, you know, per, per sort of the, the banking standard and the, the norms, uh, refunds do take a certain amount of business days to hit, uh, which is very standardized. Uh, that's something that uh, we, we adhere to all those policies and ensure that 100% of people get uh, everything refunded, of course. Uh, so in terms of the customer cancellation, though, um, you know, that's something that you can see in our, on our website and our mobile app. Um, we allow uh, customers to, to cancel 
uh, for, for free, in fact, up to you know, 24 hours before leading up. Uh, so, so that the majority of it, you know, they typically like, you know, you book a week in advance, somehow you realize two, three days uh, out that you may not need the car, you cancel it, no issues. Um, you know, other, otherwise, uh, what, what we have is uh, a policy where uh, you will be charged uh, for, for half of the booking uh, amount if you're, if you're canceling last minute. So, which, which I think is pretty, pretty reasonable, um, you know, relative to uh, some of the other policies that are out there, uh, because I think it's sort of a happy medium where uh, realizing that, you know, obviously we do have a, a customer base uh, of other folks that we have to serve, uh, but then at the same time we want to be uh, very customer friendly. Um, so, so that's what we do. Right, right. So uh, <laughs> I, I would say, uh, you know, one, one expression you can say around that is sort of uh, Im imitation is the highest form of flattery. Uh, because I mean, we uh, we invented this concept here in, in India, and and cars on rent, uh, they they were sort of the the fast followers, if you will. Uh, they they came up uh, with miles as a, as a concept uh, in February of last year. Uh, so they've been at it for uh, a full year less uh, than we have. And so the the reality is their fleet is a lot smaller uh, than ours, and their fleet is uh, only around 800 cars. So our fleet's 50% bigger than theirs. Uh, and so we also have a much deeper uh, deeper penetration into many of the other major tier one cities. Uh, so, so their model is uh, a little bit different, where they they've kind of spread themselves out into uh, you know 15 odd cities, uh, where they have you know you know like five ten cars in many of these cities, uh, wh which is you know I think we, we take a slightly different approach. We like to have again uh, much much stronger presence in in our cities. Um, so we're we're much deeper, and we uh, really think about the the localization effects and the the neighborhood network effects, and so you know, comparatively to cars and rent, uh, to miles, uh, we we have our focus, our DNA is very different. I mean, so cars and rent is a huge family business. It's a, a promoter-run business. So it's a legacy business. Uh, they've been in the space for uh, about 12 years, and so they have easy cabs. Of course, they have a a corporate long-term rental brand, chauffeur brand, and then they have this brand, and so they don't have that dedication 100% to self-drive. And uh, you know, I, I hope they. To continue to dedicate more to self-drive um, because I think uh, we would like to see as many players in the market as possible to grow the overall base. Um, but I mean, I think certainly when you know you have an approach that's different like theirs, I mean, for instance, they don't really even have a mobile app. Uh, so you know, for us, mobile app uh, it generates for us over 50% of our bookings come from the mobile app. So that's really, really you know, important point to note, and it just kind of highlights our focus versus their focus.